big claim. And on that note, after I get through your little hometown heroes, Camille Dashwood tonight, I, Chelsea Green, am going to be your new WSW champion in 2023. Well, they're just fucking luck. Well, I'm not going to waste my breath on this. So, referee, go ahead and do your job and get Camille Dashwood out here so I can kick her ass and get the fuck out of Australia. Oh, yeah, I think we're up to three with the headphones. Wow. That swear jar's filling up real quick here, Conko. Oh, oh. They owe a lot to it. Wow. Big fudge. <laughs> Maybe not the hometown girl, but the home country girl, Tennille, back on Aussie soil. Back to defend the glory of Australia against the invaders, Chelsea Green and Matt Cardona. For a long time, her home was good by sea, but now she resides in the United States, but that doesn't mean that we don't keep her in our hearts. <laughs> Absolutely. Chelsea Green. I know. Her <laughs> alone, specifically. From Melbourne, Victoria. She is an impact knockout, the pioneer of women's wrestling, Australia's own Tennille Dashwood. Oh my! Chelsea's not wasting any time. She got bamboozled. Bamboozled, hoodwinked. Hoodwinked, Possibly, if you will. If you, I will. <laughs> Chelsea Green starting off this match with the advantage, but Tennille Dashwood is fighting back. Of course, Tennille Dashwood, the first Aussie to make it on a major stage. She's been wrestling probably about as long as myself, and uh, I, I only just met her for the first time today. She'd been spending so many years over in Canada, uh, and then obviously over in the United States, and man, she's made all of us so proud. Absolutely. She's Very, put in the work, and it shows. She has put in the work. So far, she has a career to be proud of, and she's looking to continue that legacy tonight by becoming... A contender. The, a contender of uh, the World Series Wrestling Women's Championships. Hey now, referee Nick needs to maybe get his eyes on what's happening over on one side of the ring, right? Like, Absolutely. He's going to have his hands full of Matt Cardona I think at ringside tonight. Matt, referee Nick, he could be maybe a bit too excited. Maybe he didn't want to disqualify too early. I mean, we've been waiting, what, three years for uh, this tour yeah. to happen? For the Phoenix Rising Tour, I wouldn't disqualify anybody too early in the proceedings. We're only just might, getting things underway. Might not be a popular move, similarly to Tennille being announced from Melbourne. Wasn't <laughs> a popular move tonight, but she, Diego should have been... It should have just said from Australia. <laughs> it could have been from Melbourne by way of Penrith. Both women competing on the outside here. They will be given the count of 10 to get back into the ring. Of course, Matt Cardona still lurking on the outside there. 
always ready, tonight being the exception. But tonight, always lurking. Yeah. Is, that's the word right there. You said lurking on the outside. He's there. Maybe that's his new shirt, always lurking. I just made him a whole bunch of money. You oh, here you go, small package. Oh. Only a two count by referee Nick. Chelsea Green follows up that enziguri there to the head Ooh. of the field. Now this could cost her. This could cost her. That could have been an enziguri she could have capitalized on. Got the pin straight away. The thing I notice about Chelsea Green and Matt Cardona is they wear their egos on their sleeves. They're all about themselves, Conco. And unfortunately, oh my goodness. Once again, Matt Cardona is that getting what himself that thing involved. Is, is that what that thing is on his sleeve? An ego? <laughs> He has an I ego think he has on a brace sleeve. on his sleeve, and you think he has his ego on the other sleeve there. But unfortunately, if your ego gets in the way, it can cost you the contest. I know your ego's done that. <laughs> your ego cost you, what, your first five, six years of competition? I, I, I've wasted a lot of my life here, let's be <laughs> honest. <laughs> two count. To Neil oh, Madge, just get the shoulder count. up. Cardona, I think, uh, just wants to get out of here. He wants to get Not the earliest flight out of Sydney as possible. That is, of course, why the tours always conclude over in this state. It's much easier for people to be flown home out of Sydney Airport. Of course. But let's not talk about tomorrow. We've got this opening contest We're living here. in the present, and the crowd oh. is firmly behind Tennille. Big jawbreaker to Chelsea Green. Oh! Chelsea's had a lot more offense, so I think Tennille's gonna have to hit her with something real big if she wants to equalize the playing field. You're right, <laughs> ever since right? Chelsea got the early advantage, Tennille has been fighting from underneath, but now she is a house of fire, a series of clotheslines. Tennille sent to the corner. A house of fire with a series of clotheslines? <laughs> Sounds like a very dangerous... Oh, look at this, Conco. Here it is, the tarantula. Oh. Look at that. The human body is not meant to bend that way. Limbs all over the place. Limbs all over the place, indeed. Oh, I think we're about to get a taste of Tennille. There oh. it is. With the presence of mind to pull her into the middle of that ring. Long two count there. Referee Nick, of course, with that shooter sleeve. He is a shooter from way back in the day. <laughs> and they mentioned the gotchas, the thezes. Referee Nick's name is He's right in there. there with it. Here we go, double underhook. Chelsea Green fighting back. Ooh. Oh. Oh, ugly landing for Tennille Dashwood. Here Very. we go. Close. Still ball. in this particular contest, Big Fudge. You gotta think, Tennille being back in Australia, certainly that must have lit a fire underneath her. It's really helping give her uh, the advantage of fighting underneath here in this situation right now. Absolutely, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't mean to counter out of this one, but it does seem like Chelsea has Definitely. Oh! I might have spoken too soon there, Conco. I definitely spoke too soon. Huge oh. double underhook suplex. She's going up top. High risk, high reward. Let's see how it pays out. Oh! Oh! Way more effective off the top than it is in that tiny corner. No! But, oh! Matt Cardona! He's taking the brace off. Matt Cardona assaulting our official referee, Nick, here, pulling him out of the ring and costing Tennille Dashwood the match. She had the match won there. Well, and now, uh, what is happening here? Concrete. Oh, and the distraction. Whoa! That backfire, Matt Cardona hitting Chelsea Green. Oh! Then he got hit in the nods. It really hurts to be kicked there. <laughs> Here we go. And there it is. The match continued. Tennille wins. The homegrown star wins on her home soil. That's huge. 
What a huge win for Tanil to close out this tour. And I surely... Really, I was not sure what way referee Nick was going to go with it at the end there. I mean, I would have for sure said that that was a disqualification at the end, but like we said at the start of the match, he doesn't want to DQ anybody You're in, right. the, in the opening contest. He wants everybody to enjoy themselves, everybody to have a good time. Respect to referee Nick for showing some leniency and respect to Neil for walking away of the win, surely putting herself into contendership for the Women's Championship here at WSW.